ลอริอานนะทำไมก่อน to him to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you for his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God our Savior be glory majesty power and authority to Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages now and forever more I quote this Bible scripture as I start the 17th part of my life story. Uh, I want to show off the picture of this great lady Felicia Abhihetti whom I've been talking about. She only gave me a job when no one was willing to give me a job and she only came along with my brother Ashan to volunteer to help Pirushka with his wedding expenses. Uh, we have had, we are, we are having a lot of rich people in our families, but, uh, you know, she is not from my family, but she is more than a sister to me. Uh, this is uh, Felicia, uh, who is here. Uh, so, uh, she really, you know, she is one of those really, God's amazing creation with full of love. Recently, I met another person from another church and... Uh, you know, they were in the community that they have gone into the, another uh, kind of a church. But uh, those people had a great word for Felicia. They said that, uh, you know, they have never seen a person with that kind of love in her heart. I truly endorse it 100%, Felicia. Uh, this is the B-Connected staff, but uh, one of my great, great uh, people is missing here. She was my assistant actually, uh, Shamali. Uh, she was uh, she is uh, my uh, uh, you know I treat her as my elder daughter because uh, she was uh, a girl coming from a very poor family, uh, but uh, she was my uh, supporter in my uh, accounts. Uh, that time, this time she was pregnant and she was not here, but uh, I cannot miss Shamali. And also I want to talk about Sherin, he's, she's also not here by this time, she had left and gone to uh, America. But a lady who is always concerned about Dinusha, talking about Dinusha, sending me messages every day in the morning asking about Dinusha. So that is uh, Sherin who was at Be Connected. This Be Connected was a place full of love, I would say, full of love. And uh, then we had Nivanti. She left by this time, she had gone to some other place to work, but she again, uh, after leaving, you know, these are the people who have kept me going all this time, Jennifer Aturupana, uh, even, even in the last, latest thing, Jennifer was very much there, voluntarily helping me, so, uh, you know, these people have been great, 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 I would say, yes, so, uh, as I start my 17th, I, yesterday I stopped that when the time that Hirushka got married, you know, how God can do things beyond our imagination and uh, beyond our thinking about it. So, uh, in brokenness and in the darkest hour, I saw him strong in me. In brokenness and in our darkest hour, I saw him strong in me. I live today through your sacrifice, my Lord. It is your love. His word gives me life. This is in a nutshell my story, I can tell you. We were expecting by this time this little, little cute angel to come to this world. As I said, both my grandchildren, uh, when, when they were in the womb, uh, most of the time I was in the prison. But Lord saw that no power can keep me away from seeing these beautiful treasures. So <clears throat> this little child, Rashinka, was born on 18th of July 2010. What a joy this is. You know, uh, going through a lot of problems and here we see beautiful angel coming from heaven in form of a blessing, powers were trying to stop me 
from seeing this child, but as God says in Isaiah, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So you are here, we are at the Durden's hospital waiting for this little arrival and he comes. So we have got our first grandson, already we had a granddaughter and now we have a grandson. So what a blessing. I just want to show a couple of pictures of this little child. Now this boy is five years. He has grown up well. Loving, loving, too precious for us. So uh, uh, here we can see Rashinka again. A little boy, you know, beautiful. What a privilege to see this kind of a blessing in your life. So uh, these are some of the things that has happened here. We can see the two precious, Shihania and Rashinka as they were born. On the picture you can't see Roshini, but Roshini is also there, someone. So uh, in brokenness and in our darkest hour, I saw him strong in me. Uh, I think I made a mistake yesterday. I'm sorry about all the little, little uh, lapses. It was Nalin who attested uh, Hirushka's wedding because uh, Nalin is actually Hirushka's mentor. Hirushka is uh, more into the band, in the musical scene, a very talented, versatile character, my son Hirushka, even though I'm not a musician. So uh, Nalin's band, he played. And uh, it was Nalin who really, uh, you know, uh, brought him to this level. So Nalin was the testing witness that is my brother-in-law, the great man. I have been always talking about him. So a uh, uh, person whom I want to remember. Also, I want to remember another sister from community of Listen Lord called Savi Kulbertson. Yes, I hope I have pronounced it well. Savi Kulbertson. Uh, even this morning, she has sent me an early morning a Facebook message asking about Dinusha. This is great love of community of recent Lord. As you always believe, I've gone to many, many churches, many places, but I'm yet to see that kind of a love that you see in that uh, Brother Lalit Pereira's community. Then uh, I, uh, That sister has told me not to mention about her name, so because of that, I cannot mention, but uh, some man 2011 when we were going through real real crisis she just sent me a mail asking me for my account number and then she go she goes and deposits some money and also i remember many a times even recently she asked me what's her account number she goes and deposits money she's also again from the community of Mr. lord i want to thank and praise all these people for one for what they are wonderful amazing love and by this time Dinusha was, as I claimed in my word in Isaiah 53.5, Dinusha was completely, completely healed. Uh, that was great joy for us because we knew uh, this was something which was worrying us. But by this time, Dinusha has completely healed. So this was uh, something that we, we, we really wanted. And Dinusha started even going to work. Yeah, Dinusha was, uh, Dinusha was really going to work at this time. So... This is uh, amazing love of uh, the doctor, basically. I mean, I have to be very thankful to uh, Dr. Chandimadi So, But I claimed in 2007, August, 25th August 2007, came right by towards end of 2010. And Dinusha was completely held. I praise and give honor to Jesus, my God. I saw 53, 5, where he says, by his stripes we are healed. Etuman Labu Paharavalin Apata Suya Labiata. So this is what I claimed when everything was going against us. And this came through in 2010 somewhere. And Dinusha started working. So Dinusha was back at work by this time. So uh, uh, and uh, it was great to see uh, Dinusha join in a company called Lanka exhibition and conference that again it was Felicia. Felicia all the way. Felicia only found that job for Dinusha and uh, Dinusha was back at work after many years of struggle. This is my grandson Rashinka in full of sand, full of love here. So uh, by this time 
Well, we thought that the Chantiment de Mail had a great job for us, but very expensive. Um, and we simply could not afford. We, in faith, we took a step. We went to another doctor and we found Dr. Sujit Somaya, an Indian doctor, almost half or less than uh, uh, half of the cost of uh, Dr. Chantiment de Mail, who was prepared to uh, treat for Dinusha. So uh, we took a step in faith because again, like changing lawyers, we thought our strength is not in the lawyers, our strength is not in the doctors. God is my strength. God is our refuge. Jesus is our healer. So on that basis, we decided to uh, change the doctor, but a great doctor, Dr. Sujit Somaya. We went to this date, we go to him. Great man. He's an Indian doctor. He's not a Sri Lankan. He has given uh, us his mobile telephone number. Uh, we can contact him at any time. We don't need to take appointments to see him. Not necessary to channel him. You can just go meet him. He's a busy man, but still he gives a lot of time. Uh, maybe yesterday, myself and Roshini went to see him. We want to find out. So this is I'm talking today's uh, 2nd of uh, March 2015. On the 28th of uh, February 2015, two days before, we went to see him, to meet him, to find out exactly his views about Dinusha's condition. So, I will talk about it later, but he says Dinusha needs a transplant, but transplant is also a bit of a risky for Dinusha, but that is what he feels about it. He was speaking to us for about one and a half hours. It's the Lord. It's the Lord to find these kind of doctors. They are not Christians, but still, they are children of God. They are children of God. They love the patient much more than money. And they treat the patient. So, uh, we are very thankful to God once again for finding Dr. Uh, Sujit Somaya. But we can't forget what Dr. Chandimadi Mel did. If not for Dr. Chandimadi Mel, Dinusha may not be living today by the grace of God's hand. Uh, Chandima was able to do lot of lot of things in uh, in life. I also want to remember another remind remember myself another great doctor, Doctor uh, Chaminda Galapati. Doctor Chaminda Galapati. When I was in inside the prison, the lawyers wanted a letter explaining this complicated disease, so called lupus, uh, in a simple manner. So that the judges can see it, because the Colombo High Court, for them to grant bail, they needed a reason. The reason that we had was my daughter's sickness, Dinusha's sickness. So you can see God using the, our adversity for his glory to bring freedom to me. So on that scenario, uh, Dinusha, uh, this, uh, Dr. Chaminder's uh, sister was Chamari Galapa Chamari. Uh, who was working with uh, Hirushka at uh, Standard Chartered Bank. So uh, uh, this is, you can see Rashinka studying now, big boy, lovely boy studying. So uh, uh, Chamari's brother was uh, Dr. Chaminda Galapati. He volunteered to give a great letter. Uh, some doctors, they wanted money to give a letter like this. But here, because Dr. Chandimati Mel gave a letter about uh, his treatment, but they wanted a very great description. So this man, I eternally thank Dr. Chaminda Galapati and also Chamari for helping us at that moment of time. These are people that you have uh, come to help us in uh, everything about. Uh, this time, Dinusha started working thanks to Felicia, a company called Lanka Exhibition Conferences. She was completely healed. We were concerned about her uh, future. Because uh, because she was sick, no one was willing even to consider her as a father, for a marriage. So uh, most of the time it was a bit worry. Actually, I was not uh, very much worried about uh, all these things. I thought, okay, uh, things will come up at the right time. So it was not a very big, big thing for me to get worried about. But I knew God has a plan, God has a purpose, and God will do all that. So 2010 just passed by with all these great happenings, starting with uh, seeing a corpse, 
1st of January 2010 inside the prison, ending up with a beautiful wedding of Hirushka and also having Rashinka being born, having the job had be connected. Uh, 2010, uh, it went off towards the latter part fairly smoothly, I would say. Uh, Dinusha getting healed up, Dinusha getting, uh, uh, getting a job. Uh, in the meantime, the two cases now, now we have two cases, one at Mount Lavinia Magistrate Courts, the other at Ampara Magistrate Courts. Every three months, the case is called Ampara, we have to go to Ampara. Mount Lavinia, we had to be at Mount Lavinia. So uh, this was uh, the, the routine for us, for, for me. And every first Saturday, you have to go to CID. Like a big criminal, you have to go and sign their book. So for the last eight years, I'm going every first Saturday to CID to sign the book there to show that I'm still in Sri Lanka, still living. And, uh, and uh, every three months, you have to go. So this uh, umpire trip, as I said, you know, always it was Felicia that who provided the vehicle, but it was always Kuku, Srial, and uh, Manju. Most of the time joining us, Manju is the person who had been driving the vehicle up and down. So these uh, three friends, they have joined me in almost every trip to Ampara except one trip where Nalin, my brother-in-law, joined. Otherwise, it had been, you know, they wait for this trip. And we share expenses. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, time with, uh, you know, with all these friends supporting us in such a way. So, uh, 2010 ended up like that and that began the 2011. The 2011 was a relatively a peaceful year. Uh, nothing much of a uh, kind of a thing because Dinesha was uh, under care under Dr. Sujit Somaya, but not too much of hospital visits because before that it was all the time Navaloka up and down for one day, sometimes for the injection alone 80,000. So, and every three weeks she had to get an injection. Truly, I, when I think back, I don't know how we really went through all that. It is really God's amazing love. That's all we can we can see. Uh, so here we can see Hirusha and uh, the two children. Uh, even as I write this, uh, uh, you know, we have all this excitement in our family all the time. Uh, Hirusha has just fallen uh, from the from the toilet, and uh, uh, the, her leg is fractured. They are just fitted and she's on the task and on clutches now at this moment of time. Uh, doctors have told today they will examine and see whether there's a need for a surgery. So once again, we can see little, little things, little storms here and they are happening. Uh, I also want to remember two great friends of mine from the very beginning of my life, my career, Harendra and Chirani and Dayananda and Sriyani. They are abroad. Harendra is in Australia. Dayananda is in USA. Uh, but these two friends, although they are far, far away, they have been keeping a close contact with us, always trying to find out what's happening around in our family. And, um, you know, in, in many ways, they have contributed uh, towards us. Um, so it's another amazing thing. Uh, in August 2011, um, I took a decision uh, in faith uh, because I thought I must leave, be connected because, uh, you know, Felicia paid all what she can do, but we knew that expenses are going to show up and uh, I knew I had to do something different. So in August 2011, I left, be connected, did not have a proper job. My tuition did not succeed because I was in the prison. So even though I started tuition because of uh, some kind of a inspiration that was given to me by one of my subordinates in my earlier place, Mrs. Krishma Aponsu, and also by my secretary then. So uh, 
but uh, it so happened uh, it did not work out well because uh, of uh, my prison stays the, the, I could not uh, get students and even the the, the, the mind of uh, mind was not very I mean good to do tuition cinema, levels uh, but uh, something told me that I must uh, do something so I left but uh, not really knowing exactly what to do about and I remember uh, September 9th 2011 that was my birthday my 56th birthday I did not have any money I was very very uh, down at that time no money no income no job uh, all the time most of the time sleeping I remember Roshini one day uh, telling uh, you know she has cried before Lord uh, asking why are you keeping this man, such an educated man, such a qualified man, sleeping all the time? Uh, there was nothing that I could do other than to sleep. So I just get up, have a meal, go and sleep. Have a meal and go and sleep. That's all I could do. So that was the life that I was going to somewhere in 2011 after I left Be Connected. So on the 9th of September, I had 2,000 rupees in my hand. Uh, I just went to uh, uh, bed for something. When I was coming, I heard a clear voice telling me, you go and deposit this 2000 In uh, I told you I was helping many prisoners at that time, at least their families. So this uh, man Kumar, uh, who is a uh, uh, condemned prisoner in, uh, for, uh, for this Angulana murder case, uh, but uh, actually he is condemned, he is uh, he's inside the prison, but his wife and the two children, they are really struggling. Actually, in most of the cases, prisoners, I say, they are fairly well looked after. True enough, it's a hell, but even in the hell, you can live around. But yeah, it is always the families that suffer, families that suffer greatly. So in this case also, what we realized was that... Uh, that these people, most of the family stuff, I have, uh, I have many, many people I can talk about, but uh, you know, it's not the time for me to talk. But I know how prisoners suffer. So I want my brothers and sisters, as you read this testimony, have a word of prayer for these prisoners more than the prisoners, the family. It's a family that suffer. This man's uh, the eldest son, uh, he wanted to stop studies. But I manage in my own style, in my own way, with what I got from Felicia, I was able to help them as much as I was looking after my things, you know, struggle. Uh, by this time, Hirushka managed to take a loan and settle the loan of Ashan and settle the loan of uh, Felicia because he was working in a bank. He managed to mortgage this house uh, and to get a loan and to settle. So all glory and honor for God. God sees into our needs in a different, different way. It so happened. Uh, uh, I went and deposited that 2000 and I came home empty, empty pocket, my birthday. Because uh, that was the inspiration I got. So I went and deposited this 2000 to this Kumara's uh, wife's account because I had all these account numbers, so whenever I get money, maybe a small amount, I go and deposit it. So I remember one of the community sisters uh, who told me not to mention her name, gave me some money. With that money also, I went and deposited 10% of that in, an, in another person's a prisoner's account. So I deposited this money and came home to see one of my great friends, Manju Ratnapala. Uh, whom I have been talking about all the time, the man who drives my vehicle, uh, Felicia's vehicle to take us to, uh, to uh, Ampara, he comes, he comes and he's there. He's also without a job, actually he was also working with Cuckoo at Golden Key, now he's also without a job because uh, he also has lost his job with the Golden Key color. He comes, he talks to me for a couple of minutes, then he's, when he's going, he keeps an envelope on my hand and goes out. And he says, you keep this money. No, you keep this. He didn't say money. He just said, you keep this for yourself. 
I know that this man is also not having a job. So this is Manju, right? And Manju and Bridget, their grandson, Ushani's son. So this fellow, this Manju, great man, uh, he is without a job. He comes and plays as an unwilla fan go. And guess how much is inside that 10 villa? Guess how much is inside that 10 villa? 20,000 rupees. In 2011, 9th of September, 20,000 rupees. I did not have many people visiting me in 2011, my birthday. Uh, before 1988, before 2007, a lot of people visit my birthday. But one man visited Manju. 20,000. I kept, I deposited 2,000 and came. The bank empty pocket. God gives me 20,000. This is not an accident. Manju did not know that I have deposited 20,000, 2,000, but he comes and gives me 20,000. This is our God, my dear brothers and sisters. So, uh, this, uh, so it was, as I said, it was a tough time. No job, nothing happening, really. Uh, so, uh, all those problems were happening here. But with these things, this was the joy that we had, these two people bringing the kind of a joy that you cannot uh, explain in worldly words. I remember during this time, I thought I must go back to my tuition. So I advertised. I advertised saying that I'm giving SIMA tuition. So on a Sunday, I'm waiting now with my telephone on, uh, waiting for calls. No calls are coming. Watching the phone, watching the phone, no telephone calls are coming. But finally, at about 2.30 in the afternoon, a call comes from a mother, from a lady. So she's asking me, uh, you know, how much are you charging? So I said, uh, I charge so much per hour, uh, and this, that, and the other. Then she says, I'm very sorry, I am a widow. I don't have that kind of a money to pay you, but my daughter is studying for SIMA, uh, foundation level. Uh, if it's possible, please help me. I will pay you something, but not what you are asking. Something inspired me. I said, okay, I will come and coach her. So I had to go from here, from Muratua to Panathura, just about three, four kilometers, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe about five kilometers. I have to go. Uh, uh, so I just went first day. This young little girl, I gave her tuition. But the moment I went, I realized this is not a house from where I can take money because they were going to a lot of difficulty. Father is dead. And two young girls with the mother. So uh, she asked me after the lesson, what is, how much is your fee? I said, no, not necessary. I will tell you later. I did not charge any fee that day. And I went on continuing every week, two days of the week. Some days I go in my little Maruti car uh, there no pattern. I can see the yellow light. But trusting in God, I go and I uh, train this student, this young girl, and I come back. So uh, at the end of the at the end of the the lessons, uh, when I finished everything, she asked me, "Sir, how much have I got to pay?" I said, "No, I don't need any money. I don't have I don't have money, but here." I said, I don't want any money from you. And this was a time, very difficult time. Most of the day, I did not have money to pump petrol to the car. Not even 10 rupees in my hands. 2011, uh, somewhere in October, uh, not even a 10 rupee in my hand. One day I walked, not one day, I think at least three days, I have walked from Moratua to Infant Jesus Church in Slave Island to pray. I have walked about 15, 20 kilometers. I have walked because I did not have even 10 rupees in my pocket. 2007, 2006, I could write a 100,000 check without even looking at my bank balance. That was me. 2011, not even 10 rupees in my pocket. I did not even tell my children about all these. But I thought, God is there to look after me. God will care for me. And uh, I did not want to disturb anyone. I just went 
for prayers to Brother Mervyn. Um, I was uh, going for community of listen Lord, uh, St. Peter's College meetings wherever I could, whenever I could. Uh, then, uh, because I know in Methodist Church you can't go and pray like that. If I pray, people will wonder what is this man asking God. But Catholic Church, you can do that part because I don't know many people. So I just go and stay in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament and wait before Blessed Sacrament. I believe in the Blessed Sacrament even though I'm a Methodist. And uh, come, that is great time I have, uh, but I had to walk most of the time because I did not have any money. By this time, uh, there were no other big problems. Dinesha was healed, Hirushka is married, everything was going right. But we were a little bit worried about Dinusha's future because uh, there were no one. There were a couple of proposals coming up, but the moment they come to know that she was sick, and that, uh, you know, they just dropped her, most of the Christians. So uh, that was the scenario. Uh, December 2011 came, and uh, there was a service at Methodist Church, Ravatavatta, and this was done by uh, the preacher was Reverend Lyasing Disilva. Uh, one of my schoolmates, younger person to me, but his brother, Reverend Lakriya de Silla, was in my class. Uh, but that sermon uh, of Reverend Lysing de Silva, uh, it really touched me. And in the night, I think I gave him a call. I knew that he's having some services happening. I asked him, uh, when is your services? When can I come? All that. So he told me, you can come. Uh, Wednesdays the services are happening. So I had a little bit of a problem because Wednesday I used to go to community Christian Lord, St. Peter's College services, but I was struggling to find money to go to St. Peter's, uh, Mobile Pitya. So here uh, at Muratua Korla uh, they were having services. So I started attending these services in December uh, 2011 at, uh, at Reverend Lassin de uh, community uh, what is called Adara Seven. So actually that brought me a big change in my life, in my approach. So I will share all that in my next session. So for the moment, what I want to show is the God's love is amazing. In brokenness and in darkest tower, I saw him strong in me. This is his amazing grace. This is his amazing love. Thank you. God bless you.